Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. Yes, it is once again amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Man Land. And I got tagged, kind of in a tag way. This is going to be one of those uh, Dutch oven war cook-offs. You know, some wars in the Dutch oven. And it's sponsored by, or promoted by, started by, and hopefully will end by... They said, cook some type of cabbage deal in the Dutch oven. Well, brother, <laughs> you just gave me a great idea because I have not actually had this before in this certain particular way, but this video is going to be utilizing the cabbage. It's got saran wrap around it now. <laughs> we're out here at Choctaw Lake. We're, gonna, we're not doing primitive style cooking. We're actually doing RV style cooking. But we ain't got no RV. We just got a teepee tent in the background. <laughs> well, you can't, but you can see it. Pyramid camping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Choctaw Lake got a teepee. What better combination? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of these leaves off this cabbage. I want some whole leaves because we're going to do some cabbage rolls. And we're going to do the cabbage roll manland style. Ain't but two of us out here. That's me and Wee Wee. So we're not cooking a whole big old batch of it. Hmm. So let's get started, shall we? All right, I got a few of the ugly leaves. We're going to use that for a cover to cook. Uh, but right here, you, you see the, the vein, which is going toward the stem. Before I actually boil these things, I'm going to actually cut, take my knife and slice most of that off on the outside and thin it down just a bit. Because that's going to really interfere with the roll of the cabbage. Got the cabbage leaves here inside the Ozark Trails Dutch oven. Uh, they have been cleaned as much as possible. And we've got, oh, a lot of water in there. And we're going to actually boil and steam these. But before we do anything, we're going to add some salt to it. A good bit of salt. Because these are vegetables. They need some salting. And we're going to add some black pepper at this point. Oh, fresh black pepper. Very fresh. Hadn't even had the seal taken off yet. There we go. Blacky pepper. <coughs> Put them in there just like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I'm going to add about eight beef bouillon cubes. Because I'm going to reuse this water or this stock here. This cabbage water stock after I boiled them and steamed them. I'm going to reuse that with some actual fresher water. I'm going to cut that salt down a bit, but I want the leaves to get that concentration of salt, pepper, and the flavor of beef while we're doing the steaming. So these cubes individually wrapped. You can use beef stock. This is just quick and convenient for camping, in my opinion. There's one actual cube. That's one. So I'm going to put another seven in there. Hey, I may even go ten because I want a real rich, hearty beef stock flavor. While I'm cooking these, add to it. Uh, make this thing where it'll sit better. Uh, there we go. Keep an eye on that because as the wood burns, it's gonna shift. Uh, but that right there is real fire pit cooking. While them there charcoals is getting ready, we're gonna go ahead and heat our water up and take advantage of the charcoals while we can. We're gonna parboil some rice. Not too much because we're making only four rolls. I don't know the recipe yet. I'm eyeballing all this as I go. So we're going to let that do its thing. Quite a bit of water in there. And hopefully that's to keep the rice from sticking to each other's. I don't mind it sticking a little bit, but a little parboiled rice in the mixture. Yeah, makes them cabbage rolls so daggum good. We've got about a quarter thing of sausage. About the same in ground beef. Oh, I can hear the sizzle. We got the fan going in the background, so you probably can't hear it. Ground beef, that right there. Three items in there right now. We're gonna brown and cook this. Oh yeah. Cook it down a little bit. In most of the YouTube recipes you see, you don't actually want to cook that, but in this case we do. I want to cook it down and render it just a little bit because I want to actually need some of that fat 
off that ground beef uh, because I didn't bring my cooking oil and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need it for another part of the cooking here some uh, some midget chicken yeah I, so I need that oil so that's why I'm rendering it down the ingredients we got here ah, got a little ranch this is called Hidden Valley Ranch this is the stuff you make the dips out of remember this this food here this is this rice is parboiled and almost totally 100% cooked I'm gonna add the ranch in there and then the next ingredient this is what makes it sticky we got some cheese yeah triple cheddar <laughs> and we're gonna add quite a bit of that to the mixture and I mean quite a bit and we're gonna make four cabbage rolls out of this but folks what's left over we're eating for breakfast in the morning <laughs> but not as a cabbage roll mm, no just as a good breakfast itself because this stuff is good any way you do it trust me it is I didn't pre-measure nothing the meat I had to use up it was reduced for quick sale the hamburger was had to be cooked we're out here in the heat the cooter's not doing a good job keeping all this meat cold because we got these ice packs they do okay to keep it cool not cold but it's fighting Mississippi heat so yeah we're in a tough battle it's a good thing this right here's an overnighter because only two people if I'd have had a bunch of folks out here we all would have had some good eating handful of this right here this is a rice ground beef sausage mixture ground beef sausage rice uh, mushrooms and cheese yeah and because I got so much more kind of just kind of overstuff it just a bit and we take it and we roll it let me turn it toward the camera so hopefully you can see this we take it and roll it once we make that roll we take the ends tuck them in and then finish rolling and we have a complete roll there ah that's that's a cabbage roll am I in frame no I'm not I'm not in frame oh, oh let me show you that's a cabbage roll that's it so I'm calculating this size here six will fit inside a Wee Wee's uh, large miniature Dutch oven so I'm gonna do six of them we got a good rolling bowl in here that's still a little bit too much broth in there you're supposed to put the lid on put some charcoal on top of it and actually brown the tops but we're not trying to make a crispy snack we're trying to make something soft and juicy because well we we yeah she needs something extra soft and that's why I thought this would be a good YouTube video to try doing it man man way well folks for what it's worth there it is we got some cabbage rolls we got some bacon wrapped asparagus and we got miniature drunk chicken the that pie. is awesome Yep, I knew that would be. Ooh, that's good. Try the cabbage stuff next. Yeah, I'm going there next. Oh, it looks like something from Alien. It does. It, it looks does. like something somebody threw up. Yeah, um, an amoeba inside <laughs> a membrane. Ooh, gross. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't toast. It didn't get actually cooked like that's I thought That's okay, because, you know. But cabbage is good no matter how you do it. And I tasted that personally myself, and it's going to be good. Unless it's too salty. That's got a totally different. That's good. Hopefully it ain't too salty. No. That's what I was scared of. I like the sausage taste to it. Yeah. That's good. Remember, we use water out of a water hose. <laughs> a brand new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, she had to go for seconds. Yeah, and that's now, good. It's so freaking tender, it falls apart. All the ingredients in there are good. But here we go. Mmm. Wow. See, I told you. There's an explosion of fa flavors in there. Yeah. I think it is a little bit, just a little bit over salted. For the first time doing this, it's a little bit over salted. 
Because I put softener and I put the beef bouillon cubes and the beef bouillon cubes are already got salted. And so does the sausage. And the sausage definitely has salt. But that's not a bad flavor. No. Cabbages, the asparagus and, um, and the, well, whatever. whatever yeah, kind of, it's everywhere. all together. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. I would challenge anybody to cook this three and tell me otherwise that we're not telling the truth. Yeah. Exactly as we did. It's good. This I'm very satisfied with this meal. I'm so Even glad. after all the problem we had, the failures, the wind stopped blowing, the bugs, I mean the whole the heat incredible heat we went through everything we went through uh, the charcoal failures it was a success but it was a failure this is a fine fine meal and it's all because I'm man laying 121 and I have a lot better cook than anybody out there in YouTube especially Boom Jard <laughs> but I gotta give credit to Wee Wee because Wee Wee helped me out a lot she did a lot of preparation and got it going on so that, that helped me out a lot which allowed me to concentrate on actually cooking. So, we we I thank you. You did it again, Manland. I dang. <laughs> An honest reaction here of Wee Wee's world. Uh, uh, trust me, she if she didn't like it, she 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 would say so. I would. My uh, face would tell you. I've been complaining the whole time I was cooking. Mm mm. I didn't like how it was gonna turn out. I had no so, doubt it would be good. I did. I had a lot of doubt. Well, I ain't waiting. The failures and everything else. So we're gonna cut this video short now. We're done. It's over. We got breakfast to do in the morning. You might see that video. Other than that, we're out of here. Mm -mm -mm.